Hey, I just wanted to give you a quick little tour of Google to show you how to navigate around it and how to create documents. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is the easiest way to get into Google is go to google.com. Okay, I'm going to sign out so you know what to see. I think you should be signed in on your computer already. So you're going to click sign in. Okay, you put your uh, email address, which is dominicotatone at edu.knet.ca, and then you put your password in. Just let me know if you need a reset. Okay, then you have your basic Google page. If you look for these little waffles here on the right-hand side, this is kind of where you navigate everything Google. <clears throat> so you'll find your mail, you'll find docs, sheets, slides. Um, if you've installed any apps, they'll also show up here. But this drive is the main hub where you're going to find all of the documents that you've created, and also you can create documents in here. So click on Drive. Another really easy way to get to Google Drive is all you have to do is type in drive.google.com, and it gets you to Google Drive. If you want to get to Google Docs, you just have to type docs.google.com. There you go. And then if you want to go to Sheets, Sheets is basically like Excel, sheets.google.com. These are very just quick ways of navigating to the various things that uh, – the applications that Google has. So anyway, but once you're in your Google Drive, you'll notice that mine looks fairly busy because I have lots of folders in here with all my documents. But in my drive, you'll see this will be where all the things you create or that you move to your drive will be stored here. Anything that anyone shares with you will be show up in Shared with me. But once you have something shared, you'll see that all you need to do is hover over or click on the document, and you'll see these icons pop up, okay? You'll be able to preview the document. You can throw it in the trash. You can get the link. But you can also add it to your own drive. So if, you, if someone shares documents with you, you really want to um, keep them only for those that you want to keep. You're just going to click on it. Click Add to Drive, and there you go. You'll find it. You'll see I just moved the collaboration document into my drive. So when I go to my drive, if I, in the search box, I look up collaboration group activity. There it is, and it's, it's right there in my drive. So <clears throat> you'll find files shared with you, and you're shared with me. In my drive, you'll find any document that you created. Now, to create a document, you see this blue tab at the top where it says New? You just click on New, Google Doc. This is basically your uh, Microsoft Office Word uh, program. The only difference with Google Docs and Microsoft Word is the title of your document needs to go up in the top left corner. You put your title up there, and then you'd also need to put it in the top of your document. Okay? And then you will have all your standard word processing tools center, right align, um, <clears throat> you could change the font, all kinds of things. If you find that when you're using the Chromebooks, your screen is a little bit small, if you press the control, hold down the control and hit the plus, you'll see it makes your screen bigger, okay? If you hold down the control key and press minus, you'll see it makes your screen smaller. That's a nice thing to teach your students if they're having trouble reading documents on their Chromebook, okay? So you've created your document. Now maybe you want to share it with somebody. Google is very simple with their tools. So if you look in the right-hand side here where it says Share, this is where you can share this document with someone else. So basically what's that, what that's doing is it's taking this document, it's sharing it with someone else, and then you could both collaborate or work on the same document at the same time. So you'll just choose somebody that you'd like to share it with. And then here on the drop-down, you'll see you have a few options. Can edit, can comment, can view. 
So can view will only let the person look at the document. They can't change anything. Can comment will only let them put comments into the side, and I'll show you that in a minute. And can edit allows the people to make any changes they like in the document. So we'll leave it on can edit for now. But if you see this little box up here where it says comment, if I wanted to specifically comment about something like this title, all you have to do is highlight what you want to comment about, click this plus, and make a comment. And it will pop up just in the right hand side of the document. So it's definitely got some better features than Microsoft Word for, you know, for collaboration purposes. So that's how you create a Google Doc, okay? And obviously, something to consider is filing your documents appropriately. So when you go into your Google Drive, that document right now is not filed anywhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a folder, and I'm going to call it Training. And then you'll see a training folder pops up right here. So now I'm going to go back to my document. And you'll notice every time I open something new in Google, a new tab opens across the top here. So I'm going to file this by clicking on this little file. And I'm going to file it in my drive under uh, training documents. There it is. And move. And now the next time I go to find that document, It'll be right there in the training folder. There it is. So it's really important in Google to make sure that you file things away appropriately. But in saying that, if you haven't filed it appropriately and you're looking for something specific, this search box is really awesome. So let's say I'm looking for my expense sheet. Okay, so you search for keywords. You'll see that I have I want to be more specific. I want Katie expenses. There he is. And it's real easy to find. If you're looking for a specific type of document, you can click on this drop down and you can look for a specific type. So I'm looking specifically for a spreadsheet, let's say. 